guys, both teams have been plucking, clicking ready, so we're just about to go in into the second picks and bans, uh, Naving from the Beach versus a Toxic Youth, and the first the win of the first best of three was going to Naving from the Beach as they won a quick 2-0 versus as Shadow Cleave versus the LSD with LSD of uh, Knees, uh, Swapsy and Blockstack. And um, same, uh, some bans are gonna come out again. Uh, Toxic Youth uh, banning that Ali Chum uh, uh, and uh, they from the beach banning that Afflection of Warlock. So we're gonna see what they're gonna pick here. So how's the sound now? Windows 07. Ali Chum being picked in for Toxic Youth and Afflection Warlock for Nathan from the beach. Seems like this is gonna be the same picks and bans. And uh, so this is gonna be interesting. If actually, I, I don't think Toxic Youth should allow them to play the same comp. But to be honest, if they let them play a Feral instead of a DK, I don't know if it's gonna be any better. And the DK has been banned, so they're gonna let them play Feral, Lock, Shaman, I guess. And I don't know if that's any less strong or if it's even stronger. And to be honest, if it was my guess, I would say Feral, Lock, Shaman is even stronger than DK, Lock, Shaman. You have cyclones. You can you can do. You have so much momentum. I mean, you have the more spread pressure with a DK, but DK is also way more vulnerable. But I mean, the feral is actually kind of vulnerable as it doesn't have dispersion or bubble with the no holy paladin or priest. So we'll see if they can actually play that. They're gonna play this priest, uh, affliction warlock, feral. That's my biggest guess. And um, toxic youth is gonna go back with the LSD, which maybe they thought they played something wrong, but it's gonna be these on the disc priest. So that's gonna be different. So, this is what we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see Feral lock this priest. And to be honest, I think this is actually a really good pick for Nathan from the Beach. As um, Nathan from the Beach, uh, Feral is gonna, gonna have. Um, he's gonna have this person available. And the uh, Phenomenon is gonna be able to play with that also. He's also gonna be having uh, Cyclones. So, he's. Uh, thank you. No. Phenomenon is gonna have Spammable Cyclones. Um, the Feral is gonna have. Uh, uh, dispersion and it's gonna have all these feral cities. They're gonna playing uh, actually a strong comp here, and uh, to be honest, as strong as as good as they played, and as weak as Toxic Youth was last game, I would say this is also gonna be a two, uh, quick 2-0 for Nathan uh, for Nathan from the beach here. And I don't think that Demon Lock is that strong. I would pay. I would really recommend Blocks like to play Destro, but it, it's a bit too late now. Maybe for next time. Uh, I think Destro is way stronger than Demo. Uh, no matter what, because you get what, that one set up with the, uh, that's with the affliction, uh, I mean, the Ali Shaman, and you just global someone, and I think that's the only way you can kill someone. I don't think the demon burst or anything like that is strong enough. I don't think the demon stuns are needed or anything like that as well. And this priest, instead of Residuid, I just think that's weaker, but maybe Nis is more comfortable on the Residuid. I don't know why Botar didn't play on the Residuid last game, as I think Botar is a real superior Residuid on EU, so we'll see. We're gonna go on horde. <coughs> okay, so we'll see, guys. Uh, I'm waiting for the invites, as I'm not in any group. And it's 1 0. It's actually 1 0 for Nathan from the beach, so. Luxax team, Toxic Youth need to do something here, and as I saw, the Demo Lock did have like one or two kill moments, like with Demon Soul, but that's all. Destroyers aren't scary at all, to be honest, without that Demon Soul. So, yeah, if the Ellie doesn't get a random one shot or something like that, they're not gonna be able to win, I think. Uh, that's my guess, to be honest. I don't see them actually winning. I don't see anything from the beach losing as Phenomenon on this priest and. A feral and the afflection warlock, and that afflection warlock seemed real comfortable. He did so much pressure. He was playing so good. He got so many uh, fears. He had dots on everyone all the time. So I think it's gonna be hard for him. And also, there's gonna be pets to kill off for him. There's gonna be imps to drain. There's gonna be so much uh, Aramat can do actually. So I feel kind of sorry for Toxic Youth as I don't know why they're not playing with Botar and Resurgate. Seemed like they played with Nice last game and. That just seems to be a mistake, mm, I guess. Let's uh, 
both are maybe both are sleeping, something like that. I don't know. That's uh, one of my guesses. So we're just gonna see, guys, what happens in the second best of three. Day, day three, week five on Bleach Bones. Thanks a lot for all the sponsors. Um, don't really know which the sponsors are, but shout out to you all. Unknown sponsors. And I just realized I can't eat while I'm actually streaming or commentating, so that's gonna be annoying. My food's all cold, everything like that, so, but we're going into the second visit tree. We're all happy. All happy faces today. So you can actually hit me on Twitter. Ask me predictions if uh, Toxic Youth is going to make a comeback, if they're going to be playing better. I'm going to try fixing name plates, just a second. Tidy plates, I'm going to go with that. I don't know how ace that shit is going to be for you guys. I think that's all. So yeah guys, I'm just going to listen to some music, chill out. <laughs>
So guys, I'm back, and surprise, surprise, we're going to the second best of three. First game for the second best of three, it's gonna be... It's gonna be Feral Lock Disc Priest versus the uh, Demo Lock Elemental uh, Disc Priest. So it's gonna be interesting, you teams preferring the Disc Priest, which is kind of surprising, as I don't... I think Holy Priest is way better than Disc, but whatever. I guess I didn't have too much practice, even so it's really easy to learn. That's my say in this. And Kalak on that druid. It's gonna be uh, Aromat there. And we're gonna have Phenomena here, so. So that's gonna be there. I hope we don't start too early or too fast so I can't actually fix my stuff. But Knees is gonna be there. Block stack there. And so I'm ready, 20 second countdown has started, just gonna wait up. Fighting that stuff. There we go, just toggling Blissy UI. So we're gonna see, Swapsy blocks that knees, how they gonna be able to uh, take it back for Toxic Youth. Swapsy just going in, trying to do stuff here. Um, knees stacking up the spirit shells, Aromat popping in that um, demon soul, trying to get that early spread pressure, and Kalak just running in here, getting stuck in a howl of terror, doesn't get dispelled off than that. There's no really UA or anything, so I guess maybe Phenomena might actually dispel something else. Phenomena stuck in a full fear here, and he's gonna just roll up for a second at really early, and so he's gonna be fine for now, but yeah, so. Apparat stuck, uh, stuck in a full hex here. He's not getting the curse yet. He does get his curse immediately, actually. And Demon Soul popped by Blockstack here, doing so much burst into Phenomenon. He's using a PS himself, Health Zone, and Battle Master, which I think is overreacting, to be honest. A few PLs, and I think he would have been fine. Um, maybe a spell on Swapsy, something like that. Maybe it wasn't available, so we'll see. Uh, maybe it's gonna cost him something. He's gonna come and bite him early later in the game. But he has a full stun into actually Kalak, and he's gonna take this mysterious pressure and full health terror into Phenomenon. He's gonna actually roll for taking that one as well. Bars can be used by Kalak, so. He's sucking another fear, Phenomenal sucking a DR fear here. And he's not gonna get any mercy seed, but he's gonna be fine for him to be able to pick up his team. But uh, we're gonna see a death call into knees here, so that's interesting. Aramat is playing with that death call, which to be honest, I wouldn't prefer, but it seems like they like to have the chain CC. A lot of teams seem to do, but um, uh, Swapsy dropping down to 30% HP, and he had to use Sham Rage um, as the knees were stuck in a full cyclone. So they're gonna be fine for now. Knees hasn't been stuck in more CC. He used them, but Swapsy is still taking so much pressure. Knees actually was stuck in a root behind a pillar. Uh, nice notice, like a really clutch Nova root, I mean, by Kalak. And so he actually didn't have this spell available for that one. And Swapsy actually was in so much trouble because of that. Swapsy couldn't get in range for him, and he was still on 30% HP, but he managed to be picked up for now. And he's trying to pick up his team as best as he can, but Swapsy is just taking so much pressure, it's unreal. And he's stuck in the instant clone as well. I mean, this is what I mean. So uh, Feral just do so much pressure, and he's the just gonna have to life up right now, as he was almost about to go down. Knees struggling so hard on picking up his team. I mean, I don't see them actually being able to do much here. Hiding character now. Sorry about that, guys. Can try to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's gonna be hard for him to be honest. And I don't see them winning. I mean, second Shamrage has been used. I mean, this is all he has. Uh, Knees doesn't have anything left here. I mean, he's stuck in the cyclone here. He doesn't have the PS. He doesn't have anything. He's using. <laughs> He's struggling so hard, he's using that sla uh, PS last cooldown of knees actually to keep Sops alive. And he's just running around trying to stay alive. But Kalak taking some serious pressure here. It doesn't look too bad though. No serious CC of Phenomenon. Even though he has a little second left, he doesn't trick it. He's gonna be fine. Blocks like taking a Demon Soul, popping a Demon Soul. And this is the uh, window they actually can do something here. Aramat and Kalak taking some serious pressure here, uh, dropping to 50%. But I think they're gonna be fine as there's no CC of Phenomenon. I think he's just gonna be fine with CC, topping up his team. Knees second at full cyclone. Swapsy doesn't have the Shamrage available yet. He's gonna be able to make my drop here. Blank says to these. I don't think that was a lockout. Um, full fair into Aramat, so he's not gonna be able to expand those fears. But he has, he's actually gonna trinket that one, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, Swapsy on 40% HP. Death call to fear on these. He's gonna be able to break that. Doesn't look like he just has tremor for it right now. Nice uh, comes out barely. Maybe he's gonna be able to uh, get into another CC, and he's gonna come into another CC, but it's gonna be just a little bit too late. Swapsy's gonna get topped off. He's gonna be fine for now, but Aramat actually dropping to 50%. Blocks like doing some serious pressure here. He's in a demon for spamming us those chest waves or what else? The 
leave a lot to do as I don't even know anything what they do the, this season. So haven't really seen too many. Uh, Fan Omnam stuck in a little DR fair into a stun here. Are they going to be able to do something with this? And he seems to be fine for now. On 70%, the stun is just over. Kalak stuck in a fair. He's going to be able to dispel that. He's actually going to trinket that. So interesting choice there. Maybe Fan Omnam didn't have MD or did anything available. Because I would say MD is actually quite good. Because Black Knight is just going to be spamming those spheres all day. Looks like he doesn't have any uh, VT or UA or anything like that. So UA would actually be nice. I mean, you could actually uh, MD if you're not worried about mana as uh, for now, now, but he actually is kind of more well, mana. So, but if it wasn't, like if they were actually having like a huge mana lead or something like that, they could go MD and they could just MD those um, uh, shot, uh, dots from the. I will not push up which is in procs, but look at Swapsy here, dropping the 30% HP. Catches a shield from the East, but he's gonna be fine. In the focus has been used, but he's gonna get a cycle on that. He's gonna trinket that. Swapsy, then he needs, I think it was a full lockout here. Is he gonna be able to actually pick up Swapsy here? But Arma dropping a 40%, he's using his uh, battle, uh, I mean, he's using his region pool, as I think. At least used his health stone, so he's gonna be fine for now. Kalak's looking at fear here, as Phenomenon is looking at. Uh, stun, but I think he just got a dispel off right before he gets uh, stunned, so nice job by him, nice reaction to the dispels here. Uh, Blackstack's taking a second full fair here, and Swaps is taking a full cyclone here while they got CDs up, so it's kind of bad for him. Swaps, he has popped his Eskadens, looking for it, doing that one shot here. Blackstack also has popped his Demon Soul, nice to notice, but they're not doing too much with it. Blackstack, uh, Swaps, he's getting some few cards off, but it seems like they're gonna be fine. Now, Kalak taking some serious pressure here. He does have dispersion, everything available, it seems like. He doesn't have uh, Ursoc available, and that's thing, I think that's all. They have like used PS and Ursoc, um, so that's fine. But uh, phenomenon taking so much pressure here, randomly dropping to 20% HP. Holy fire comes in from he's, he's actually gonna light stop here. Uh, tranquility, uh, tranquility, he, um, everything healing cooldowns by Kalak used. So he's gonna be able to top off his team here. Hard of the Wild Rustin popped there, so he, he easily topped off his team. But that's two major cooldowns overlap, to be honest. Uh, and is he, uh, and is and everything. So that was swap and Hard of the Wild overlap by Nathan from Beast, to be honest, I think uh, Toxic Youth can actually take this one if they actually line up something on Phenomenon while it doesn't trinket. Here's a full fair, I would like them to swap on him out of that fair as he gets into a bad position, but that fair was gonna break really early, so I don't know if he will have forsaken that or if they actually broke it themselves, but I think he will did. Uh, swaps taking some serious pressure here, but not too much CC on these right now, so I'm, I really miss the CC on these. He's getting a second and full pre fair by Siphon actually, and uh, that's all. He, he's gonna have to roll for Zeke that, which is kind of interesting uh, as his team was in, in trouble. But <laughs> they're gonna be fine for now. But uh, Phenomenon, to be honest, he's the one taking the most of the heat here. He's behind our corner, so he's gonna be fine for now. But Blocks are clutching each each time he actually sees him. So good job by Blocks, like actually, all the time he's uh, able to see the priest. He's actually harassing him, so that's gonna be fine. But Aramata is actually going behind the pillar as he's kind of scared here, uh, trying to get a drain soul on the pet. Uh, are they going to be able to finish it off? It's going to seem to be fine for now. Kalak dropping <laughs> a real, relatively low, 140%, using NS on himself to heal him up. But the, uh, look at Aramat as well, 140%, using region cooldowns, and he's also going to use Unbound Will to get out of something. Didn't you know what, but he has Demon Soul pop. I guess that's why he wants to get as much pressure as he can. Full calling to knees here. Blocks like full dotted, Swapsy full dotted, Shamra is used by Swapsy. He's taking some serious pressure here. Death Call used by him as well. So, on him, I mean. <coughs> So a lot of pressure into Swapsy here. Full knees and uh, full fear. The R fear actually on knees here. But Swapsy so low. Sham rate is still available, but he's gonna soon drop here. Any more CC onto knees? I think he's just gonna drop here. PS on 20% HP full, and he catches a shield. Is he gonna be able to stay alive here? Penance comes in. He's gonna barrel. Now. The next change is he. I think he's gonna be forcing trinket. And if they have anything out of that, to be honest, they're gonna be able to just take it because they don't have PS. They don't have Sham rate. Um, that's huge. That's two major cooldowns of have to be used together. Which is really good job by Nathan from the Beast forcing that. But remember, Nathan from the Beast has been using some CDs as well. Survival Instinct has been popped also by Kalak. He just used Boston as well, so they can easily crush Kalak as well and PS as well. So, so much pressure by Swapsy coming in. Those Lava Birds just creating him all the time. And he's gonna be fine for now, but I don't know if it was needed to use some CDs. But Kalak only has the dispersion available right now. Phenomenon doesn't have that uh, Void Shit as well available as it is the Life Swap. Aramat stuck on 50% HP. Really been hard for Phenomenon actually to keep up here. He's uh, putting on this, uh, using a spirit shell. A special guy's drink here coming in for an Aramat. He's gonna be able to take it. I think it's really important for him to actually stop that one. But he's gonna be fine for now. So as he's over on the other side, nice, uh, <laughs> nice view by me, guys. Uh, nice job by me. He actually got a one take or something like that, but that's all. 
for Aramat, looking for that Drain Soul on the pad, and it's gonna get catch a shield. Good job by Nee's actually not giving uh, Aramat all these shards here, but is he gonna be able to finish that pad? Doesn't look like it, so he's not gonna get those all this free damage here. And Phenomenon, Kalak looking to actually play more passive this game. Uh, Internet has been used by Kalak on Phenomenon, he's struggling so much with mana here. Aramat on 50% HP, and to be honest, he's been like that the whole game. And I feel like um, Toxic Youth should go on the Volok. Volok is way weaker than uh, Pearl or uh, this Priest. I think that's the best target for them. Touch the Volok each time he comes in. Uh, Elemental should be able to actually crush the Volok, Affliction Volok. And uh, I don't know why they're not doing it, but I feel like uh, the Affliction Volok will be able to spike way faster. If they actually control the, the uh, Phenomenon while going on Iron Man, I think it would be way better for them. And it also also will stop us from Iron Man getting so much pressure. So. Uh, maybe they should swap it up a bit and target more Aramat, but Phenomenon taking the most of the pressure right now. He's dropping to 40% HP. He's just behind a pillar, but now look at a swap into Aramat. He's dropping to 10% HP. Dark Bajin has been popped there, and he almost died without using any CDs. He gets Sun and Storm to Madagascar, so he's gonna just portal back, and he's gonna be fine for now. But look at Phenomenon dropping to 25% HP. He's gonna get stuck in a Howl of Terror. Is the Bloxic gonna be able to finish him off here? He's on 5% HP. Shadow of Death coming in from Nice. MVP. Killing him off here, and that's gonna be a 1 0 off the 10 minutes. Gonna be sad for anything from the beach as they didn't manage to turtle it out for the draw, but nice job by Toxic Youth. And they went on the Vorlock and they got the pressure. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, they did a really good job actually getting pressure there. I don't know if uh, they did really a good job. I think I thought actually anything from the beach should have this, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, I guess it was a really good job by uh, Toxic Youth, to be honest. They forced a lot of cooldowns here and there, so good job by them. So we'll see, guys. <coughs> Rinse of the Lord on. So that's gonna be the match uh, map pick for uh, Nathan from the beach. Rinse of the Lord on and. I don't agree with that. I think it's a more open map, and I think it's an advantage of Toxic Youth. Because the LE is just going to be able to spam DPS. I think it's going to be harder, actually. Because then they can just run on someone. They can actually run on whoever they want. I mean, it's the same for both teams, but I think Toxic Youth has the advantage, actually, with the Elemental Shaman. So we're just going to wait till gates have opened, and. Uh, so we'll see. I might actually have a duo commentator, and I'm just going to see who it is going to be. Might have a do commentator, I don't know who. So we're just gonna see. Uh if I do or not, but I'm probably gonna be solo commentating this one as well. Uh so just waiting to see what's gonna happen. He's an English person. Um So we're just gonna see here, waiting for gates to open, and mm, as I think I might have a duo commentator for the next series, I don't know who, so I think just uh, one of the admins just hooked me up with one, <laughs> hooked me up, sounds so stupid, but whatever. Uh, Zuniaki might be also around. Bonjour. So yeah guys, hashtag man tweeted me at Roswell. <laughs> tweeted me whatever you think is gonna happen in this uh, match point of the second best of three series for winning the second best of three series and going to the third best of three series for Toxic Youth as they got the one over lead here in the second best of three but Nothing Run the Beach got the overall best of three series and one over lead. So, just gonna write my Twitter actually on the chat. You can actually hit me there.
seeing if gates have opened. Doesn't look like it. Actually, someone's dead, so I'm gonna be joining in. So I was gonna see some gladius or something like that. So yeah, guys, we're gonna have Team EG playing three series in a row after this. So that's gonna be really interesting. I'm looking forward to see Team EG uh, Swapsy. I uh, know Swapsy uh, as they're playing. It's kind of bad, you know, but he's been lucky all the time. That's all I gotta say. I think he's a lucky player. He's playing just OP stuff. Doesn't really play anything with skill. Flame on. I think Team EG is gonna lose every game, guys. That's my guess. But whatever. It's 1-0 for Toxic Youth here. We're about to go into the second best of three. As it is 1-0 in the overall best of three series for Nathan Grand Beach. If they're gonna be able to take this, take this, they're gonna be able to go into the third game in the second best of three series. If Toxic Youth win this, they're gonna go into the third best of three series. And we're gonna see the third picks and bats. So, the countdown has been started here, guys. We're just gonna go in. Gateway from block stack. We're both all just gatewaying. Kalak actually running kind of far in, but it's gonna be fine here. I'm just waiting to see if they actually gonna spirit shell. Doesn't look like any of the teams actually want a spirit shell. Looks like just gateways in, get that Hall of Terror and forces the. Wow, that was such a good job by block stack. I'm just gonna say what he did. He just gatewayed in into Phenomenon, Hall of Terror, he will have forsaken, and then he stunned him. And look at this. They're getting a DR fear out of that as well, and they're getting actually some pressure yet. But Nee is taking so much pressure as well. The ball, uh, the wall of just blank sets him, has full dust on him, feral soft on him as well. So he's just gonna get away from there, but he took the, uh, he's gonna be fine for now. It doesn't look too bad to don't, to be honest. But uh, talks to youth kinda rotting again. So looks like Aramat is doing a good job. He used team assault there, so that was his big uh, cooldown for getting the most pressure out his can. But blocks like on 60% HP, no CC on knees. You should be able to top him off here. Drops actually 40% HP here, and there's a full fade to knees here. Is there gonna be a tremor available for him or is does he gonna have to look for Signa? He used his pet sack, which is kinda weird here as he can actually can give Oh yeah, he's playing demon so I keep forgetting that shit. But whatever, he's gonna have the pet sack and he's still gonna be broken instantly. But look at him, look at Toxic Youth here, all on 50% HP here. Arma taking a little bit of pressure here. And that's what I said here, they should actually focus Arma way more. I mean, that's the easiest target for them to kill. Like CC phenomenon, just get a uh, stun into a fear or whatever, and uh, kill Arma to be honest. They can go back all the time and you're gonna be able to get a lot of pressure. Swapsy on 40% HP, Blocks on 50% HP as well. Everyone just dropping so long. Swapsy actually gets locked there, I think. He's rooted as well, so he's gonna be a little bit awkward position. Does look like it, but he's gonna be fine for now, actually. Knee's dropping to 20% HP. He's gonna be able to stay alive here. He catches a shield on himself, but he's gonna be fine for now. He sucks in a full fear by the ball. Okay, he's gonna run into such a bad position here. The Feral is connecting on him. He's using a PS on him, and I think people are gonna see a life up coming in. Life up has been used here on Blocktech. Blocktech doesn't have actually many CDs left. He's gonna have to use a shield as he actually lives up him. Uh, swaps as well. Uses that Sham Rage as well. So, so many cooldowns forced there by Tox. Uh, Nathan Run Beast forcing every cooldown off Toxic Youth there so fast into the game, two minutes into the game, and they don't really ha look like they have anything available. So, real strong Nathan from the beach compared to the last game here. Good job by them, full fair into Nis here. Swapsy is in a little bit trouble here as he doesn't have much available here, he doesn't have damage. Uh, Swapsy taking some serious pressure here, but Blocks I actually think is the best target. The only thing he has available right now is healing cooldowns, and I think Blocks are so weak in any one CC, and you can actually just flop them. Especially Feral Breach, they actually do so much damage on Rollers. But uh, Kalak is taking some serious pressure. He has to use that bar skin, preemptively use that bar skin, so he's gonna be fine for now. And he's gonna be able to get topped up. And Phenomenon, I'm not sucking too much CC. Actually, he's just gonna PS on HP, uh, HP as he got stunned, Axe Strong, and by that Volok here, but not too much pressure. And I don't agree with that. He used Battle Master, Health Stun, and he used PS on himself, so that's kinda over. Too much, I think. Wasn't really needed, but maybe it's just to help out his team so he can actually just start healing the others in his team. Uh, but yeah, look at Kalak here. He has to use Trinket on the fair here, and he's on 50% HP. He's gonna maybe have to use something else there. He uses health on trying to just run around. He uses that uh, Ursoc, so he's gonna be fine for now. But look at him, he's just spiking out to 10% HP. Harder Wild has been used there, and he <laughs> he's gonna ca catch a huge heal on himself. Luckily, I think it critted or something like that, but he healed him actually to 70% from like 10% or something like that. But, uh, Nathan on the beach hasn't really been doing too much now on Tox of Youth. It feels like the pressure between these two teams are just, like bouncing on each other. Like, first Nathan from the beach is doing like blah blah blah, so much damage into Tox of Youth. And then Tox of Youth is doing like blah blah blah, forcing everything to kill Nathan from the beach. It doesn't feel like one of the teams just can just 
keep rolling, you know? Just keep running that horse and in the other team. And yeah, if we see that happening, I think we're going to see a win. Uh, but there's a full bash into the Are we going to see an ECC out of that? He actually swapped an NPD. He's just going to gateway. He didn't take too much pressure. He didn't even break his shield there. He's got to be fine. I'm looking to see what Fennel Aramat is doing. How, about, how is he doing? He seems to be doing fine here, getting full dots on everyone here. A uh, Blockstack is with full dots here. Swapsy has full dots now. He's not full dots. Blockstack is out of dots. Uh, Pearl has been targeting Blockstack, so. But Zach is a full fear. It doesn't look, seem like too much is happening. Phenomenon going for a special guy's uh, uh, self drink here, but he's gonna be able to stop there. And they're actually making a swap into him. He's gonna have to trinket that stun uh, from the Demon Lock here. And he's gonna be fine with, uh, with that. And he doesn't have too many cities available. He doesn't have PS, and he doesn't have Trinket, and he doesn't, and he doesn't have Life Swap. So, but he also has to use Battle Master, so it's kind of all awkward. Uh, but Kalak takes some serious pressure here, dropping the 40% HP here. Uh, Barskin has been popped, uh, so we're just going to see what's happening here. Full triple fear <laughs> by Mies here on <laughs> Nathan from the Beast. Stun, Cap talked him into Phenomenon, taking so much pressure here. He's dropping the 30% HP. Are we going to see a DR stun? The DR stun comes in. No more CC out of that, and he's going to be fine with the Battle Monster half stun and the shield here, so he's going to be able to recover here, dropping a double fear here onto knees and swaps in no tremor available, so they're going to be stuck in that full rotation with the gate here, actually about to drop here for um, Toxic Youth, so maybe a Blox actually look to do, uh, make a new one, if they actually finish that one up, knees can't escape all the time, so they can actually ease the top of knees, but knees on 1% mana, struggling so much here, he's actually taking so much pressure and I mean, th this is what I would imagine, but look at Ironman, Unbind Willis, and almost kills himself, actually. Drops with 30% HP, and stuck in a full fear. Camp uh, Swapsy actually just uh, finish him off here. Kalak actually taking so much pressure, I would see a dispersion popped here, and the dispersion has been forced here. Uh, Swapsy doing such a huge pressure, and doing a lot of crits into Kalak. Good job by him, stun into Aramat here, and he's going to be taking a little bit of pressure here. He doesn't have too much available as well. Cap talked him after that stun, the demon lock stun. Uh, Swapsy has to use his charmage as well, as he's being taking a lot of pressure here. Yes, knees struggling with that mana. Also, seven fifteen percent. Phenomenon doing a little bit better, but as well, I feel like Nephew from the Beach should be doing a better on mana as they are playing with the Afflection Warlock, and Easy has to play against the spread pressure from the Afflection Warlock. Uh, so yeah, but also it looks to be seem relatively even here. And he's stuck in a full bash here. He's gonna be able to take some serious pressure here. He's taking some uh, decent amount of pressure, but he looks like he's gonna be fine. But Phenomenon actually has to use PS on himself. Looks like he's gonna be fine for now. Don't look, don't understand actually why he PS himself. Didn't look like he was taking anything serious pressure. Don't think he was stuck in any stun or anything like that. Uh, Arma stuck in a fear. Kalak stuck in a full fear. Arma gets re -feared. Must be really annoying for him. Phenomenon just refreshing it. A fear word on himself. And I think he just got a fear word actually. A fear there. Good job by him. Looks like he's stuck in a full cyclone here on his demon soul. Nice job by Kalak actually preventing that DPS from him. <coughs> So he's actually being targeted here once again. He's just gonna gateway again, and I feel like they need to kill at gateway. Uh, they actually got a gateway on top of his face, I think. Yeah, and they do. So that's a good job by them. Blocks like on 40% HP has to use that pet sack here. Knees has to use both for taking. Knees actually got full loss on himself and bleeds. So he's gonna be able to. Uh, if they actually connect on him, he's gonna take serious pressure here. Swaps so second full health terror. They're not gonna be able to come out of that one. Doesn't look like he has tremor available.